find the x coordinates of the turning point of the function f of x is x to the power of 4 minus 2x squared plus 12 and use calculus to show whether they are maximum or minimum. Okay, now for maximum and minimum, your dy by dx should be 0. So let me write like this. So your f of x, f of x is equal to x to the power of 4 minus 2x squared plus 12. So we can say for maximum or minimum, for max or minimum, your f dash x or dy by dx is equal to, should be 0. So let us find f dash x, or which is nothing but dy by dx. Okay, so f dash x is, you drop the power down and decrease the power by 1. So it is 4x cubed minus 4x. Okay. So here, we are going to set this equal to 0 to find the maximum and minimum. So this is, you factor out the 4x, you got x squared minus 1 is equal to 0. So this is 4x times x plus 1 times x minus 1 is equal to 0. So I can say, well, x is 0, x is negative 1, and x is plus 1. So we want to find where is your maximum and where is your minimum. So let me write this in an order. So the, the maximum and minimum are at x is equal to negative 1, x is equal to 0, x is equal to 1. Now to find, uh, you can do this graphically, but the question is you have to use calculus and then find its maximum and minimum. Now to find maximum and minimum, let me explain first the graphical understanding. Suppose this is your x and y axis. This is your x and this is your y axis. And let me draw a graph. Okay, suppose this is a this is a graph. Okay. I don't know what the equation of this graph is, but we know this is maximum. You can say this is local maximum and this is local minimum. So generally we call that maximum minimum. There's nothing wrong. At this point dy by dx is 0. Your gradient at this point, gradient of the tangent at this point is 0, and here also dy by dx is equal to 0. That's what we have done. Now the problem is, we want to decide using calculus whether this, if this point, which of them is maximum and which of them is minimum. Okay. Now you need to understand the maths behind it. To the left of maximum, if you go to the left of maximum, the dy by dx, the gradient at any point to the left of maximum is going to be greater than 0. Okay, now what do I mean by that? If you take an, any arbitrary point here, if you take any point here, and if you draw a tangent at that point, if you draw a tangent at that point, you can understand the tangent is going to be positive. Okay, and to the right, if you go to the right, any point to the right of maximum, the gradient, this part, the gradient is going to be less than zero. That means it's going to be negative for this branch. So there are, this graph can be changed or can be uh, divided in three branches. So this is one branch. Okay, this is one branch where the gradient is going to be positive. This branch also your gradient is going to be positive. These two branches, I hope you understand, the gradient as of the gradient of the line at any of these points has to be greater than zero. And this branch is less than zero. So I you should use uh, this blue color. So this branch, this branch is where your gradient is less than zero. So I'm going to use the calculator to decide what happens. So these are the three important points, negative 1, 0, and 1. And we've got this. So let's go to the graphic calculator. Go to your table menu and type in this function. x raised to 4, x raised to 4, minus 2, x squared, plus 12. And you also have to go to your setup, and your derivative has to be on. Okay, so it has to be on, and I'm going from minus 2 to 2, 
at a step of 0 0.2. I'll explain why. So at minus 2, at my, when x is minus 2, your derivative is minus 24. So, so my interest is at minus 1. At minus 1, don't worry about the y value. At minus 1, your gradient is 0. If you go to the left of something less than minus 1, your gradient is negative. So from negative gradient, from negative gradient, you're going to positive gradient when you're looking at minus 1.2 and 0 0.8. 0 0.8 is slightly over negative 1, and 1 1.2 or negative 1.2 is slightly less than uh, minus 1. So from a negative gradient, it becomes a positive gradient. So what is this? Okay. So where does from a negative gradient it becomes positive gradient? It has to be max. It has to be minimum. Okay. For minimum, to the left is negative, and to the right is positive. So here, this point is minimum because to the left of minus one, it had a negative gradient, and to the right, it had a positive gradient. Okay. So let us go to zero. Let us go to zero first. At zero, the gradient is zero. The gradient is zero, and to the left of it's positive and to the right of zero it is negative so from positive it is going to negative okay that means from to the left of zero you have got a positive gradient and to the right of zero you got negative gradient so this at zero it means at zero you're getting from a positive gradient you're going to a negative gradient so at zero you have to have this has to be a maximum. Okay, now let us go to 1. 1 is the important. So 1, again, your gradient is 0. To the left of, can you see at minimum, to the left of minimum, you have to have a negative gradient. And to the right of, it has to be positive. So from a negative gradient, you're reaching 0, and then you're going to positive. So from negative gradient, if you reach 0, and then you're positive, this implies this has to be again a maximum. So you've got two maximums and one minimum. You've got two maximum and one minimum. So let me show you that on the calculator. So let us graph this. Go to graph menu. Okay, and I need to scroll this like this. And I need to set my scale. I know the I'll go from my interest is from minus two to plus two. Okay. My interest points are 0, negative 1, and plus 1. So I'll go from 0 to, say, 25. <clears throat> you can think why I put this y scale <clears throat> and then draw the graph. Oops. What did I put? I have to scroll this. OK, so the graph is like this. Can you see? This is, this is at this point, in negative 1, you get the minimum. OK? This is maximum and this is minimum. So again, G solve, go to minimum. Can you see? At minimum, this is a minimum. dy by dx is 0 here. Okay, if you go to the left, slightly left, can you see it is negative. At, at 1, it is 0. Oh, yeah. So the second point is, th these are the two minimums. Can you see? This is one minimum and this is minus 1, 11 is one minimum. And this is the other minimum. So you get minimum at 1 and minus 1. And to find maximum, at 0, 12, you get, get the maximum. 